a live action project in my Digimon franchise? It's more likely than you'd think. What is up digital companions? My name is Khan EX and welcome back to another video. And typically I don't report on rumors for Digimon. That's usually because there aren't any rumors for Digimon. Unlike the Pokemon community who constantly have leaks and rumors and speculation, Digimon doesn't really work like that. We kind of just get news and there aren't usually inside leakers. I think the only time in recent memory that anything leaked was Digimon Ghost Game and sometimes like vital bracelets and stuff would leak a little bit early. Dim cards and things like that. However, yesterday everything changed, question mark. And I do want to say this is all rumor, there is no full on news here, but I do think it's worth making a video on just in case this is a real thing. And this all began for me yesterday when I woke up bleary eyed, checked my YouTube homepage and saw that for some reason IGN had shared the Digimon 25th animation trailer. This is the exact same trailer we got at Digimon Con, which seemed weird to me that IGN would upload it now, weeks after Digimon Con. Even more strange is that over on Twitter when IGN tweeted it, specifically drawing attention to that line, the adventure continues, Toei Animation replied, thank you, with hands up. Meaning they got blessing, presumably, by Toei to post this trailer to their socials. If you know anything about Toei, you know that they are famously litigious and love to copyright claim and strike. So this must have been a mutual decision to post this. Specifically, the adventure continues. Interesting. Then, last night, as I'm chilling out, ready to watch more Fallout, I see this. My time to shine, hello. An account with over 100,000 followers tweets a gif of Greymon digivolving to Metal Grey. Digimon. Then quote tweets it saying this isn't about the panel, but there is a live action Digimon project in development. What? <laughs> Where has this come from? Now, first of all, you might be thinking, well, anyone can make a tweet. Absolutely, they can. However, My Time to Shine Hello actually has some credibility. They are all over Reddit, which as we all know is a source of news and facts. <laughs> when I was doing my research for this video, I was looking into this person like, okay, people seem to take this credibly. What's going on here? Why would they think that's the case? And then I found a bunch of Reddit threads across the years, which do actually seem to indicate that My Time to Shine Hello knows some stuff. According to My Time to Shine Hello in January 27th, 2022, they stated that Dr. Strange 2 would have more cameos, it did. Patrick Stewart would be in Doctor Strange 2, which he was. Russell Crowe is playing Zeus in Thor 4, which he did. And the John Bernthal's Punisher will return, which we now know he is. There are a plethora of more things this person has said, but a really helpful comment from Automod on My Time to Shine Hello's AMA about Marvel says this, My Time to Shine Hello and Can We Get Some Toast is a tier two source, meaning the community considers this source to be mostly reliable. As of October 20th, 2023, they had an 80.48 percent accuracy rate for Marvel with a 77.75 percent accuracy overall. That's not a bad batting average for the MCU which is famously tight-lipped. And that's when I started going, oh this might be real. And we've had technically Digimon live action projects before. Corey did a great video on the Digimon adventure try stage play that happened in Japan. And of course, I've been a fan of the Digimon Vital Bracelet and Digimon Seekers PVs, even going as far as to say on April 18th, 2022, we legitimately need a full on web series of this live action style they use for Digimon PVs. Time after time, I swear to God. Adding more fuel to this fire was a rumor that at the time I personally discounted, and I know a lot of Digimon fans discounted. However, all the way back in 2020, which is four years ago. This article, and we got this covered, said that according to their source, the same ones that told them National Treasure 3, Now You See Me 3, and Screen 5 were in development, and yeah, they're all happening. <laughs> now You See Me 3, I think, is filming right now. Disney is currently putting together a live action adaptation of the popular Japanese children's cartoon and game series Digimon. Project is still in the earlier stages of development and was made possible after Disney acquired 20th Century Fox, which, yeah, 20th Century Fox made things like Digimon the movie, and all the kind of like Saban Digimon stuff, so it's very likely there is some contractual way that Digimon could be in Disney's hands. Disney XD did at one time or another have Digimon, so combining that with whatever rights they've gained from Fox, maybe that leak was legit. It feels weird to say it, but now with Now You See Me 3 and Scream 5, the only outlier being National Treasure 3, which is seemingly in pre-production or development hell, still a pretty good batting average, and it does seem weird timing with Toei Animation doing this trailer, IGN posting it again, and really specifying the adventure continues. However, specifically Toei Animation feels weird to me on this one. Would Toei Animation be the ones hyping up a new live action Digimon project? Project. No, regular Toei would be. So is it possible that there's going to be another, a third in the Last Evolution Kizuna movie series, as well as a live action Digimon project? 
Like if they're gonna make a live action Digimon thing, presumably it's gonna be Digimon Adventure. I talked about this with Tom last night and we agreed if any franchise was gonna get the like Detective Pikachu treatment, it makes so much sense for Digimon. Do a Digimon Adventure thing, do a Cyber Sleuth thing. Imagine a live action Cyber Sleuth, that would work so well. And because these creatures are digital monsters, of all franchises in the world, that would make the most sense to have slightly subpar CG. So if the monsters don't look 100% realistic, it's fine because they're from the computer. And I do think if you look at those Vital Bracelet and Digimon Seekers PVs, they're a great blueprint of how you could do live action Digimon and it looks pretty good in my opinion. Sure, the Digimon don't look hyper realistic, but like I say, they don't have to. And the way they integrate the humans and the Digimon into the real world and into the digital world in those PVs for a Netflix series or even a one-off movie could work really well, especially with Disney money. Whether they go the Mandalorian route and have it all projected in the background or have it all on green screens or whatever, there is, I think, potential here. And it's not like adaptations are failing recently. Netflix One Piece did really well. Avatar The Last Airbender had mixed reception, but at least did well enough to get a season two, unlike Cowboy Bebop. And outside of just anime adaptations, if we look at things like Fallout on Prime, that's a pretty interesting world to try and bring to life in live action, and yet they succeeded. Detective Pikachu is another example. Admittedly, they have taken a while to make another one. It was very well received. Sonic, another example of these cute mascot style franchises that have adapted well to live action, and I think Digimon very easily could follow in their footsteps. You've also got to consider not just the creative output, but also the financial reward. Digimon is still on the pedestal of top three animes for Toei. It's like Digimon, One Piece, and Dragon Ball. With One Piece already at Netflix, Dragon Ball live action having a murky past, and a ton of other nostalgic franchises already having deals with other studios, Warner Brothers and Toho for Detective Pikachu, Paramount for Sonic, Disney might want a slice of that 90s nostalgia pie, and they're already kinda doing some of that, with admittedly a different type of nostalgia in Doctor Who. This is one of the weirdest things that's ever happened happened to me while I've been a Digimon YouTuber because typically we don't get rumors like this. This is 100% a thing that happens to PokeTubers. But combining my time to shine hello with this rumor way, way back in the day in 2020, or oh, so long ago, that Disney wanted to do a live action Digimon thing, it seems a weird rumor at a weird time for my time to shine hello, who is not like a Digimon account, you know, they don't really focus on Digimon, to suddenly go, yeah, live action Digimon. I'm gonna cover this story, I'm gonna keep talking about this. This was almost a short, but I felt that I had enough to talk about to make it into a video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. First of all, do you think this is likely to happen based on the proof that we currently have? Also, do you want this to happen? And if so, what do you want it to be? Do you want it to be a Digimon Adventure movie? Do you want it to be a Digimon Tamers movie? Do you want it to be a Cyber Sleuth movie? That would be really cool actually, but I think it's too much of a hard sell to people who aren't familiar with Cyber Sleuth. What does this mean? And honestly, it's just nice for the first time in a while, possibly kind of ever to this extent, to have a leak and rumors culture around Digimon. I'm personally excited even if this absolutely means nothing and nothing happens and my time to shine hell is a liar. But that 77 to 80% average got me feeling pretty optimistic. Thank you to my sovereign on Patreon ZDK14 as well as everyone else who supports this channel with their hard earned money. Thank you all so much for watching. Very excited for the future of Digimon right now and I'll see you next time on Go Digital. Bye bye.